Okay, Dave's Heating and Cooling here. This is the Wild Olive Restaurant in Crestview, Florida. And um, great place to eat. Food is superb. And what we're going to be doing here is uh, an installation of a ventilation system for the kitchen. The restaurant currently uses four split systems, two of them feeding the dining room, two of them feeding the kitchen. Yes, they cool the kitchen with mechanical cooling and uh, without bringing in any fresh air. So uh, we're going to uh, be bringing in fresh air through the two air handling systems for the kitchen and uh, hopefully that will cool the kitchen pretty well and uh, save them a, a lot of money on air conditioning costs. So this will be uh, an instruction, uh, an installation video on um, doing exactly that. Okay, here's our intake, which is a converted uh, power exhaust fan. I trimmed the sheet metal here a little bit, a little bit more air in. <coughs> this is what the it's going to go on the roof. This will be our intake taking the exhaust uh, fan motor out. Should work pretty good. Okay, here's our intake with the motor taken out. It's right next to the exhaust, but that won't be a problem. Here's the intake for the stove. Okay, here's the kitchen area dishwashing area here goes to the dining room this is kitchen stove exhaust hood up here it's two air handling units feeding just this little area here of about 15 by 45 feet long a total of nine tons of cooling It's pretty nice for the employees to get cooled off. Okay, I'm up in the attic now. Here's the air handling unit mounted horizontally up in the uh, up in the attic. This is supply air going this way. Over here, we've got return air. Right. Here is where the fresh air duct is going to go, big 16 inch duct. And just four feet away from that location is our fresh air inlet, which I just cut in. Still got the bird screen on there. Should take in a pretty good amount of air. So we're going to go from there over to this location right here. About five feet maybe. Here's a, a return air duct going to the same unit. It runs about 15 feet. And then this return air duct goes this way runs about 25 feet so we should get some pretty good uh, pull from the uh, fresh air intake here the uh, automatic damper I'm using is <coughs> right here round 16 inch round damper made by Belimo it's supposed to be a, a good commercial damper with a real strong motor that's gonna sit over here on our return air plenum the uh, flexible duct that I've got ready here will connect from the intake to the top of the 
damper and then with a uh, outside air controller and a relay we'll be able to allow the space thermostat to either open this damper and prevent the mechanical cooling from starting or close this damper and allow the mechanical cooling to start at a change over about 57 degrees outside air temperature and I'll be putting a outside air bulb up here so it senses fresh air and I'm hoping this is going to work pretty good for the customer save him some money on running nine tons of mechanical cooling all the time Okay, here's a quick video of the controller, electronic controller, which will sense the outside air with this bulb outside. The signal will come into this electronic controller, which is uh, which will power the the uh, transformer, which will energize the relay and switch between mechanical cooling and fresh air based on an outside temperature of about 56 degrees which I'll set it up for. It's got a one degree differential so it'll be real uh, precise. Here's the 240 volt wiring which is going to get wired into the air handling unit motor. So in case of uh, failure of any of these parts that you see right here, the uh, fresh air damper will go to the normally closed position and mechanical cooling will be allowed to start. So the fail safe is on uh, normally closed. Okay, here's the uh, uh, connector uh, I put on here to the, to the air intake. Six inches on the sides for the flux duct to attach onto. Here's our temperature changeover controller with 8 foot cord. We've got the sensor tied onto the screen, sensing just outside air temperature. Here's the filter box. The filter goes in right here. And we cut it in right over the blower for some real good suction. This duct here will get fastened onto the damper which will sit on this box right here. Okay, and here it is all wired. Right now the damper is in the full open position because I got it set at 58 and it's 55 outside so it's letting in fresh air. Okay I'm going to run it through a sequence now and uh, get the sequence on the video and when we take a look at the, the motor we see that this is the damper rod that goes all the way through the, the sheet metal. This little notch here that's running horizontal indicates that the damper is closed in this position. And when this little notch is vertical then the damper has opened up into the vertical position. So right now it's in the fully closed position because I have the uh, controller <coughs> set at um, below the set point, the, uh, below the uh, outside air temperature. Right now the outside air temperature is 70 degrees and now I'm going to run through the adjustment. This says that it's Fahrenheit. This says that I have the economizer set at 59 degrees outside air temperature and since it's 70 that indicates that the mechanical cooling would come on which is why the damper is closed now 
this is one degree differential that I have it set at and C1 just indicates that it's it's a cooling application if we press it again it goes back to the current uh, outside air temperature so now I'm going to adjust the controller <clears throat> and put it in the winter mode and I'm going to do that by pressing this twice it says 59 right now now I'm going to run it up to run it up to about an 80 degree changeover and since the fresh air is below the 80 degree changeover we should start seeing the damper open um, since uh, we're in the I'm simulating the winter mode get, get it back to the display there we go just heard the click which is this relay down here We can see the damper is starting to open now. It's going in a counterclockwise position. Because the controller uh, is set uh, is set above the uh, the actual temperature of the outside air, simulating a winter condition. takes about 60 seconds for the motor to uh, go through its entire duration but you can see the uh, the center part of the uh, rod is uh, going to the vertical position it's almost there now moves very very slowly this motor and it's just about fully open now okay it's it's vertical so the damper inside is fully open letting in fresh air into the air handling unit thinking that there's a call for cooling and it's uh, winter time so that's the entire sequence um, there's a relay in here where if uh, when the system goes for a call a call for uh, heat the damper will automatically go to the closed position because we don't want to be bringing in cold outside air and trying to heat that um, this economizer system is just for cooling bringing in fresh air whenever it's cold enough so now I'm going to uh, return the controller back to a, a more sensible set point which would be about uh, 58 58 uh, uh, 57 degrees there's 58 degrees and uh, so it's 70 degrees outside 70 degrees outside right now so whenever the outside temperature drops below 58 degrees then the uh, the damper will open and the mechanical cooling will be prevented from starting um, so right now it's in the summer mode because I've got it set I've got the controller set at 59 but yet it's above that indicating that the mechanical cooling uh, is needed and if we take a look at our motor it's starting to close again because we're in the summer mode and we don't want to be bringing in hot humid outside air and cooling that so the damper is going to close, the mechanical cooling is going to start and then once the outside air temperature drops below 58 degrees the mechanical cooling will stop 
and the fresh air damper will automatically open so they can cool the space with uh, fresh air and uh, save a lot of money. That's it. This is called an economizer system for an air handling unit.